Hello there, I'm Matt from the Flutter DevRel team. In this video, we're going to be checking out Flutter's ML Vision plugin. If you've ever wanted to experiment with face detection, recognize some text, or work out whether a photo has been taken down the beach or at the top of a mountain, then this is the plugin for you. All this ML goodness is powered by Firebase's ML Kit, which provides machine learning models for a variety of use cases text recognition, face detection, barcode scanning, image labeling, landmark recognition, and some custom model inference. To check out MLKit in action, we're going to implement face detection in a Flutter app using the device's camera or gallery. Let's get started by installing a couple of plugins that our app's going to need by adding them to our pubspec.yaml. We're going to need some way of taking or selecting images, so let's add an image picker. And of course, we're going to need Flutter's ML Vision plugin. We also need to set up a Firebase project, which we've covered in a previous video. Click on the link in the description below to learn more from Andrew on Firebase setup goodness. Right, now that configuration is out of the way, on to building our face detection app. First things first, we're going to need our basic app structure. Let's begin by creating a basic scaffold with a floating action button. We're using a stateful widget as we're going to need to track the selected image and any faces detected. We'll add state as we work through the code. We've got three tasks to perform to get our app detecting faces. Firstly, we need to select an image that would like to search for faces. Secondly, we need to load in that image for processing. And thirdly, we need to search that image for faces using MLKit. On to the first task, image selection couldn't be easier in Flutter. This single line of code using Image Picker will launch either the device's native gallery or the camera app, depending on which source you provide, camera or gallery. A file reference is returned asynchronously. Next, we load the selected image. The Firebase Vision Image class from the Vision plugin loads and stores an image in a format suitable for feature detection. That's another line of code. We're at task number three, and we're ready to detect some faces. We need an instance of the Firebase Vision class that's initialized with a face detector. Other detectors are available for a variety of detecting situations. We can provide the face detector with optional parameters to control things like accuracy and whether we should look for landmark features such as eyes, ears, and noses. Finally, we pass the image to our detector, which asynchronously returns a list of any faces that it finds. The face object contains a bunch of interesting info, but the data we're most interested in is the bounding box surrounding each face, whose coordinates are relative to the true size of the image. And finally, let's wrap our code up in a function that we can drop into our stateful widget. Great. Now we've got image selection, loading, and processing. Not bad for four lines of code, all thanks to the power of plugins. Let's wire everything together in our app. First, let's add our image file and list of detected faces into our state class. Now that we have a newly minted function, we can add that and wire it up to the floating action button. We need to make sure that we mark the state as updated once face detection completes. We can add a call to set state in our function and update our state variables. Now, while all this looks great on the face of it, there's a subtle issue here. Let's take a look at our face detection function again. Note we're waiting twice for async functions to complete. And when they complete, there is no guarantee that the face page widget will still be active or mounted. The user could have navigated away from the page or left the app altogether. As soon as dispose is called, any ongoing background work is wasted processing and battery. We should check the widget's mounted state after each async task finishes. But here we'll use a more simple solution and just check whether the widget is mounted before setting the state. Now, with that out of the way, let's wrap this up and display both the image and our detected faces. We'll start by replacing the placeholder container with a new widget, image and faces. We'll pass the image file path and list of faces to our new widget. Let's put the image and list in a column and use flexible widgets to determine the proportion they take up. We'll give two-thirds of the screen space to the image. 
Then we load the image using image.file and ensure that it covers the available space. And let's ensure that the space the image is given fully covers two-thirds of the screen. Now let's give the faces list the bottom one-third. And use a list view to display the faces, mapping the faces to a new widget that displays each one. Our new widget will simply show the coordinates of the faces bounding box. So there you have it, image selection and face detection in a few lines of code. To see how to modify an image in Flutter and highlight all those detective faces in the image itself, please check out the companion video on custom painters. More information in the links below and please come visit us at Flutter.io. That was pretty delightful. If you like that, we have lots more of stuff where that came from. And particularly, you should check out the Flutter channel and subscribe.